Welcome back to the Hockey Shop Source for Sports out here in beautiful Story, British Columbia, the outskirts of Vancouver, or for those of you not blessed enough to live on the West Coast with Cam and I, thehockeyshop.com for all your goaltending needs. We are down in Goalie Utopia with Cam Matwiv, surrounded by all this magnificent goalie gear. A little less, a little less goalie gear than last time, uh, thanks to a spectacular Black Friday sale. Um, and I'm guessing there'll be even less by the time we hit Christmas as people, uh, that are, are nearby. And maybe some of you that live within a few provinces can still get shipping on, on Christmas items to stuff that last minute gift under the tree. So make sure you hit cam up. If you got any questions about the shipping deadlines, we'll do that at the beginning cam. Where can they hit you up? If they're curious, if they can still get, before we get into this week's feature gear, where can they hit you up to find out, Hey, I really need a stick. I really need skates. Can I get it in time to get it under the tree? 604-589-8299. Just give me a call. Have you figured out the 1-800 number yet? Or? It's too, no. <laughs> so we'll flash, we'll flash that little 1-800 right number on the screen. Hutch, work your magic. For those that are wondering why we're talking about a screen, of course, we're now about eight weeks into doing this on a simulcast. Uh, thanks to everyone who's been watching the gear segment on, especially Instagram, IGTV, um, averaging, you know, a, a little over 10 to 15,000 a week in view. So that's been kind of cool. Cam's head still fits through doors despite that growth. Um, so it's been great. Now, back to our regularly scheduled program. We took a little break there for some Christmas gift ideas, some Black Friday ideas. We're back into pants. And we're going to hit it up. The Vaughn V9 Pro Carbon kind of follows nicely. We wrapped up the chest protectors with the Vaughn V9 Pro Carbon. We're going to start with the pants. For those of you who are watching on the simulcast, you'll notice that I am actually wearing the pants because I get into this like a dress up. This is like Halloween for me. Didn't get to go trick or treating. So I come into the hockey shop, try on all the gear, annoy Cam, make sure there's lots of stuff he has to put back on the wall when we leave. And that includes wearing the Vaughn V9 Pro Carbon pants for the first time. Velocity Pro Carbon. I got to say, they're pretty, uh, they feel Cam like a traditional pant in terms of fit and style like I've, i haven't got an inner belt here um you, they just sort of there's a lot of mobility is that walk me through what the what the new features are what this pant is known for what the feedback has been yeah that the word like a gym short fit kind of comes to mind a little bit when you said that um so your description of feeling very mobile is is, is correct right off the bat i'm gonna be honest with you that's not the description i was looking for i'm quite glad you didn't play dress up because i don't want to see you in your gym shorts gym shorts well, <laughs> that's good then you're good you pass that said the pant itself, um, a bit more of a tapered fit, something that we haven't seen from Vaughn before. Um, they're falling in line with what the NHL legal rule is for uh, pant width in terms of the actual barrel. So they're actually a rounded nine inch uh, molded thigh barrel as opposed to uh, a 10 inch, which we saw on uh, the previous pant in the V8 and also uh, for a lot of the other ones that are on the wall in particular. Yeah, and uh, you'll see those reviews in the coming weeks. Uh, we've, we've talked about, uh, about the CCM and the Bauer have gone to, or in some cases stuck with, a 10 inch mm -hmm. um, leg. So just a little bit wider through the thighs and around the leg. Now that said, it's NHL legal. It's a little bit smaller. It's a little more rounded and tapered, um, but I still feel like, you know, uh, there's room in here, uh, not just in terms of movement and mobility, but there's room to still tuck in um, a knee pad underneath. Correct. Yeah, they still cut it out enough to still amalgamate with that wider style of a knee pad. Uh, a nice feature of Vaughn pants in particular, too, is that they do come with a tie on the inside of the actual thigh itself. So you can actually tie your knee pads into the pant themselves. Uh, in particular, it's just a leather tab some for those of us that can see. Yeah, yeah, tab with some lace holes. Yeah, so just a nice little quick added feature there. Uh, another way to wear your knee pads. Uh, one of the things that they did also change um, from the V8 pant was how the, the crotch line of the pant actually integrates. So they've added more of that uh, neoprene stretch material basically in the center of the crotch. Uh, this allows uh, easier integration, especially for those guys that are wearing those big double cups and whatnot. Um, so that it won't interfere with the pan as you're moving around. So it creates a little bit of extra space in the forefront of the pan. I'm glad you mentioned double and for some of us triple cups uh, in the NHL. Most guys are wearing sort of a uh, player or, you know, sort of sport athletic cup underneath and then a goalie double cup over top of that. Uh, I'm also glad you mentioned that's why you needed the neoprene. There were so many jokes to be made there about that extra stretchy material. I'm going to leave those. Uh, moving to the inside of the pant. As, you, as, as I mentioned at the beginning, some of the other pants that we've looked at or are going to look at here on the gear segment coming up, 
uh, have inner belts. Yes. This one doesn't. Again, keeping with NHL spec, you can't have any. You can't have an inner belt in the National Hockey League. So this is more along the lines of an NHL spec pant. Um, but it looks like some pretty easy traditional attachments versus suspenders. For those of you who, what I like about inner belts is it allows you to sort of cinch the inside and have that barrel on the outside. For this pant, do you need to cinch it up, sort of using the belts that run around? Like, do you have to tie it tight around the waist? And if that's the case, is it harder to tuck with this compared to, like, is this a pant where you would normally untuck? You can, you can do both with it. And now, again, that word preference kind of comes back into play, which we've talked about so many times uh, before. The waist itself is stiff enough to accommodate that chest um, inside, for example. Um, but what I do see this pant a little bit more is when you do torque it down, it definitely tapers in the waist. I think a little bit more for that untucked guy. So it's a little more form fitting. Correct. Do these pants look, make my hips look big? Probably not. I don't not. think it was the pants. Probably not. <laughs> so less of a barrel around an inner belt and more, like you said, more tapered. But you can still stuff a chest protector on the inside of it and then pull it tight. Correct. And of course, as we said, you know, probably, I mean, it's not like it's falling down on me here. Even with these cinch tight, you can probably quite easily attach and, and use a suspender system to, to keep it up. Yes, exactly, exactly. Because we don't want to be like the kids with them pants falling down all the time, not when we're on the ice. No, we don't want that. <laughs> Any other features? Uh, what's been the feedback on this model? Uh, good protection overall. I mean, uh, again, those familiar with Vaughn pants, it's not too much of a departure from what you've been previously used to. Uh, again, the biggest thing, though, is moving to those 9-inch barrels. Uh, Lightweight air mesh liner throughout the pant um, keeps it breathable, makes it lightweight as well. Um, it is really light, noticeably light. When you put it on, like I said, uh, the, the two things that do jump to mind is uh, I'm not sweating right now. It's a pretty light pant, even though we're indoors and I'm wearing a goalie pant. And the mobility just moving around and standing up in it is, uh, it, feels like, it feels like a pant that we just got off the wall, but it feels like it's something I've worn for a while and is broken in quite easily. Yes, that bread and butter Vaughn fit in that sense, though. So. Okay, the one thing I did notice too, though, uh, with the nine inch barrel pa uh, pant leg being a little tighter and the fact that the inner, the inner padding isn't removable like we've seen on some other models. Could you fit a full, like, I mean, I guess NHL legal still fits under here, but you, you might have to be a little careful with some of the max size knee pads sort of sliding in and out underneath this. Not as much necessarily because one thing is that the back of the pan is actually quite a bit wider uh, or in terms of how it, it's cut. So even though it looks thinner up front, you've It'll got still a, open up. You have a lot of travel room in the back to be able to accommodate for that bigger style of a knee pad. Okay, there we go. Vaughn V9 Pro Carbon Pant. Cam, thanks for walking us through this line. Uh, stick with us folks as we continue to make our way through pant models from CCM, Bauer, and Warrior.